What's up, Android Phoenix? This is Tech Phoenix 9 from AndroidTechOfBlockSpot.com, and today I have a Galaxy Nexus with me. This is a GSM version, but I am going to be doing a ALKP Jelly Bean Run review for the GSM and Verizon. Yes, Jelly Bean is on ALKP now, so let's get started. Right away, when you turn the lock screen, you can see that it has a Jelly Bean lock screen just like any other custom ROM or stock ROM. You got the camera, unlock, and Google Now. And Google Now is functional just like because it is a Galaxy Nexus. So right away, you can see that it is a little different. It's a little different only because I'm using Nova Launcher, not the default stock launcher. So you may find it a little different, such as the transitions, as you can see right there. So anyway, let's just go into settings and see what it has to offer. Let's first let's go into About Phone and show you that's on Jelly Bean 4.1. You can see the kernel and AOKP version is August 10th build. All right. So let's go into settings and see some of the features it offers. So let's go into route control. And right away, you've got a ton of options, a ton of customization. That is one reason why I love AOKP. This ROM has a ton of customization. So let's go into LED options. So right away, you can uh, change the LED settings. So let's think you can change like five seconds. LED off, you can do, let's do for 0.2 seconds. So you can change that, how long you want it on and all that. And you can actually have a flash too, so that's that's awesome. Let's change the toggles as well. So let's do indicator. What is? So you can see the, um, the little blue lights right there. Let me make it a little brighter. And now it gets brighter. You can so you can change a lot of settings on this. So this is great weather. Let's take a little quick look at weather. Enable weather. You can enable it. Uh, you can also have performance, so you can overclock your phone. You do have to have root, but most likely if you're watching my videos, your phone is already rooted. If you're not, I have a ton of videos on how to root for Galaxy Nexus. So I granted it, and now I can actually overclock and all that. So I can do, make it to performance, so that will overclock it, or I can do it to conservative, which will save battery, making my phone slower. So those are just some of the options of many, many options that AOKP offers. That is one reason my favorite, one of my favorite, most favorite ROMs is AOKP. So you saw some of the features it offers. Let's let's do a quick quadrant score, and, quadrant score, and let's see what it gets. So let me change the settings back to normal, so we can see a good score. Performance and let's change it to on demand. There we go. Clear all the apps. Now let's get started. Run for full benchmark. Alright. So I'll be back once it's done. Alright, it's done. So let's just proceed and let's see what the score it got. So your device scored 2214. So you can probably get a better view on that so you can see all the scores that it got. So it's not top of the game, but it is it is an old device. I won't lie about that. It's an older device. The CPU is a little older. But I love I love this Galaxy Nexus. It never lags and all that, especially because it was the first device to get Jelly Bean as well. And it offers all the full features unlike iOS. Like iOS, they take out some of the features if you have like a 3G phone and it's made for 4G. So that's why and that's a great reason why you get all the features on Android and it never lags as well on any update. Even if you have a really old device, which this isn't. So anyway, probably probably a lot of you are asking, is this is this RAM stable for me? Yes, it is. This is a great stable RAM for any device. If you use for business, talking to friends, anyway, gaming, anything. This is very reliable, very stable. I haven't seen one single problem with it. It offers everything. It offers a toggle, a toggle node, a toggle widget, I guess you could say, for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. And it's it's just a great RAM overall. I love this RAM, it's very stable, no problems at all, not a single one so far. So it's a great RAM, very stable, everything works, microphone, Bluetooth, clocks, everything. It should all work, and that is why this is a great RAM, and I highly recommend it to anyone, guys. So I hope you found this video helpful. Get this RAM if you're on ice cream sandwich. Get this, this is a great RAM, or get Jelly Bro. Jelly Bro is very stable as well. Alright, so get that RAM, so please don't forget to subscribe and rate if you found this video helpful. Also, if you need any help, you can contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, all three links in the description as well. And for emergencies, contact me at techfanatic9 at gmail.com. See ya.